Stand by. I. What is up, YouTube? This is the Nashi with a brand new deck profile video. This time I'll be showing you my brand new Metaphys deck. If any of you will recall, I used to have a digital bug deck in the yellow deck slot, but with the release of Link Monsters and the fact that they cannot exist in defense mode, it unfortunately meant that this deck had no playability anymore, and I was forced to remove it. However, this deck really intrigued me with the way it manipulates its own banished pile, and I just had to try it out for myself, and it turned out I loved it. So let's see where this goes. Starting off with the monster lineup, we have a playset of Metaphys Ragnarok. In addition to being a four-star tuner, for some odd reason, if it's normal or special summoned, you can banish the top three cards of your deck, and if you do, this monster gains 300 attack points for every banished Metaphys card among them. In addition, if this monster does battle damage, then you get to special summon any Metaphys monster from your deck, but you have to banish it during the end phase of the next turn. Triple Metaphys Armed Dragon. A lot of people are probably pissed at me for using this card, but the fact is, it has been very useful to me and is an integral play card to some of my special draw combos. Triple Metaphys Daedalus. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster, then you can banish all other face up special summon monsters. In addition, if this card itself is banished, then during the next standby phase, if it's still banished, you return it to the deck and you can banish a different Metaphys monster. Triple Metaphys Nephthys. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster, then you get to banish all set spell traps. In addition, if this card itself is banished, then you get to return it to the deck during the next standby phase, and if you do, you can add any Metaphys card from your deck to your hand. Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. If this card is special summoned by the effect of a Metaphys monster, it can attack twice, as long as the first attack is on a monster, and it is immune to all trap cards. In addition, if this card itself is banished, and during the next standby phase, you can return it to the deck, and if you do, you can special summon any Metaphys monster from your hand, but you have to banish it during the end phase of the next turn. And one Metaphys Executor. I know a lot of people are probably hating on me for this card as well, but despite how bricky it is, I do like it in the deck at 1. It cannot be normal summoned or set, you can only special summon it from your hand by banishing 5 Metaphys cards from your graveyard and or face up from your field, but they all have to have different names. It cannot be destroyed by card effects, it cannot be banished by card effects, and once per turn if your opponent controls more cards than you do, you can take one of your banished Metaphys monsters and special summon it, but it gets banished during the end phase of the next turn. Next we have the spell cards. First off is a playset of Ace and Metaphys. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you right now, this spell card is the whole reason I wanted to make this deck, because I have never been so enamored by a piece of card art in my entire life, and something about this card art really caught my eye. Maybe it's the colorful way that it interacts with the holofoil, I just don't know. But when I saw this spell, I had to make this deck. Once per turn, you can banish a Metaphys card from your hand, and if you do, you get to draw a card. In addition, if a Metaphys card is banished, then you get to activate one of two effects. If it's your turn, all non-Metaphys monsters on the field lose 500 attack and defense. If it's your opponent's turn, all non-Metaphys monsters have their battle positions changed. One Dark Hole, staple card. Triple Gold Sarcophagus. Banishing any card from your deck, and then in two rounds, you get it to your hand. Although most instances, those cards will not have to wait that long, because they return to the deck during the following standby phase after you banish them. Two Metaphys Factor. If you have a Metaphys monster that is level 5 or higher in your hand, you can normal summon it without tribute. In addition, as long as this spell card's on the field, your opponent cannot respond to any of your activated Metaphys monster effects. This spell card caught my attention immediately because that means that every single one of your monsters, provided this card's on the field, is immune to counter traps and hand traps. And I just think that's funny. I just wish it was a better card because otherwise I'd be running in a three. Two Mystical Space Typhoon, stable cards. Three Pot of Duality. 
Given that I do use the Metaphys Field spell as well as several high level monsters, you can imagine the special summoning on my own turn isn't exactly a high priority. So, using this card to take three cards off my deck and add one to my hand in exchange for not being able to special summon isn't really a huge cost for me. And triple Sacred Sword of Seven Stars. You can take a level seven monster you control or in your hand, banish it, then draw two cards. And now we move into the trap lineup. The staple bottomless trap hole. Two, Metaphys Dimension. If your opponent special summons a monster, except during the damage step, you can target one of your banished Metaphys monsters and special summon it, but you banish it during the end phase of the next turn. This is another reason I like Metaphys Armed Dragon, because since it doesn't have an effect to return it to the deck, that means that it's always going to be live for this card's summoning effect. In addition, once per turn, if a Metaphys card is banished, then you get to banish an opponent's card as well. Solemn Warning, another staple. Torrential Tribute, another staple for me. And Triple Waterfall of Dragon Souls. You can either add a Wyrm type monster from your deck to your hand, which every Metaphys monster is, including normal, or you can send any number of Wyrm type monsters from your hand and or face up from your side of the field to the graveyard and draw cards equal to the number you sent, plus one. Next, we move into the side deck. First off, we have a pair of Light Ray Sorcerer. I was honestly really hoping the Light Ray archetype as a whole could be an integral part of this deck, but Metaphys doesn't produce enough for it to really interact with, except in certain situations. And Light Ray Sorcerer is the only one that really interacts with those situations well enough. It cannot be normal summoner set. You can only special summon it from your hand by having three or more light monsters banished. And once per turn, you can target a banished light monster and a card on the field. You return the first target to your deck and then banish the second. We also have the spare copy of Metaphys Tyrant Dragon. And the playset of the field spell Chaos Zone. A bit more of a techie field spell that I was playing around with, and I did get some decent mixed results. Each time a monster or monsters is banished, you place a chaos counter on this card for each one of those monsters that were banished. And then once per turn, you can remove four or more chaos counters from your side of the field to target a banished monster whose level is equal to the number of counters you removed and in special summon it. Also, when this card is sent from the field to the graveyard by an opponent's card effect, you can take one monster from your deck who is light or dark and his level is equal to or less than the number of chaos counters that were on this card at the time and add it to your hand. You also have a spare copy of Metaphys Factor, and a pair of Terraforming. I don't run Terraforming in the main deck because Metaphys Factor can obviously be searched by Metaphys Neptis, so it didn't really seem like an integral card. Plus, on the off chance that I do banish it with the effect of Metaphys Ragnarok, I do get a point bonus, so I'm not overly concerned. Spare copy of MST. Compulsory. Fiendish Chain. Spare copy of Metaphys Dimension. And Mirror Force. And that's the deck. Honestly, it's a bit rudimentary, it clearly needs more monsters, and its effects are kind of limited to specific situations that may not benefit you in the long run, but the way it operates is very unique. Plus, most of its monsters being unable to be responded to means this deck can usually operate freely without the worry of your opponent doing anything that you may or may not like. And as far as the extra deck's concerned, I really didn't see a need for one, nor did I see any cards that would really help this archetype along as far as its base functions. There aren't too many cards that interact with high-level banished monsters, and on top of that, Metaphys only really gain bonus when they're special summoned by Metaphys monster effects. Star Eater is the only card I saw seeing as useful in the specific situations that I could summon it because, well, the level 4 might have had its effect negated somehow. I thank you guys for watching this deck profile, and if you can think of any way that I can improve this All Light deck, feel free to let me know. But in the meantime, this has been Anashi, signing out.